wanted to reach out to people, especially if they were in need of food. I remember years and years ago when the government had a program of providing food to the seniors. I think it was molasses, uh, peanut butter, and other items. And these particular seniors were embarrassed. They were embarrassed to go stand in the lines. So my mother uh, arranged so that these items were delivered to the home, to her home, and she was able to give these items to the seniors where they would not have to go and stand in lines and be embarrassed. How wonderful it is to be here at St. John's of Laddingtown, who has played a major role with the Dr. Alberta Hersey Foundation. We ask the Holy Spirit to transform the gifts of bread and wine, but we mustn't just stop there. The Holy Spirit is at work hovering, creating, bringing wonderful things out of ordinary situations and ordinary people and making those things extraordinary. And it seems to me in the history of the Her Hersey Foundation, there is very much that sign of the spirit at work, being creative, drawing out, bringing good things. So I'm sorry if that is a long-winded theological answer, but for me that is the essence of how I see things as a priest in relation to the Hersey Foundation. Whatever the need was, mm -hmm. the word was mm -hmm. passed on mm -hmm. to St. John's. And before you know it, as Skippy said, if it was 11.30 in the morning or 2.30, by that afternoon, it was delivered. And that's why I feel so honored to be part of the Dr. Alberta Hersey Foundation and through Lionel Goldberg and mm -hmm. Abe Krasinoff, mm -hmm. who was the CEO of Paul Corporation. These two men initiated to Long Island University in order for my mother to be bestowed with that honor. Hmm. And I will always be grateful to... I will always remember that in the hospital, that wonderful ceremony, it was so special. Yes. And she was so regal, <laughs> and yet so humble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was wonderful. With Charlie Newberry. Yes, yes. Who really worked so closely with Alberta Hersey. This is the room at St. John's. The uh, coats and sweaters and shoes. And these items are for Glen Cove, the surrounding communities, Seacliff, Glen Head, Locust Valley. Um, at one particular time, they declared Dr. Alberta Hersey Day in Glen Cove. And um, it was Mr. Krasnoff and Mr. Goldberg who was trustees of Long Island University, who actually was observing my mom and told my mom that they wanted to honor her with the uh, doctorate because of her outreach to the community. Mr. Krasnoff and Mr. Goldberg felt well. She was just doing such a wonderful, wonderful job in providing the service to the uh, needy. Mm -hmm. That that's how she was bestowed with the doctorate from Long Island University. May the good Lord continue to shine down on the uh, Dr. Alberta Hersey Foundation and those who in her memory carry on her hard works and her dreams. Thank you. Thank you. And um, Pat, I'd like to thank you for coming yes. this morning. I know how happy you are when you call me and how sincere you are when you call and say, Jean, can I help? Oh boy, am I going to break down? <laughs> and um, thank you for coming. Thank you for having this me. morning we are visiting one of our board of directors, Mrs. Hattie Smiler. And of course with me is Pandora Hersey, who is the treasurer of the Dr. Alberta Hersey Foundation. Jean, 
is the epitome of what Alberta Hersey stood for. And so the foundation, when you created the foundation, um, you carried out the legacy, the mission, as you put it, the yes. mission. I think it might be maybe six mayors that I worked under that all, they all have nothing but praise over the years That's true. for that. That's true. Even when she would tell them off. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but they they had the respect. She had she earned she earned the respect. She did. She really did. Yeah. I, I find people now that I'm meeting who work for various organizations will say, "Are you related to Alberta Hersey?" Mm -hmm. uh, I, I knew her for many years, and they always spoke highly of her as a Christian woman and a dedicated woman to the community. Mm -hmm. it makes me realize just how. Yeah. how much, how important and how much this, this uh, mission is needed, how important the Dr. Alberta Hersey Foundation is to the community people because it meets so many needs yeah. of individuals and families and even special needs that sometimes you cannot uh, meet those needs through any other organization. That's right. I'm going to say Mr. S. Mr. S, if you could just respond on the letter that you were going to mail to us. Uh, this is a letter that I um, written to the foundation, you know, thanking them for all their help and, you know, the care they have gave, given me over the years. Since being placed on dialysis, it's been a great help being assisted from the foundation. Being on a limited income places financial burden some months. The foundation has assisted me through the months when things can't quite um, meet, you, or your ends meet. I wish to thank the foundation for its endeavor on my behalf. I hope its valued work will long continue for others such as myself who need a little help, as they say, from friends. My mom's favorite scripture was the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. <laughs>